Good afternoon, hello, 1001, 1002. Welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. It is 6 p.m. on Monday, the 4th of December, and today was going to be a poor day in terms of my training and my six week transformation, I'm trying to be as healthy as I can be. However, it's not going to be anymore. I've pulled myself around mentally. I'm going to focus this evening on training and I'm going to get some work done. Now, I've been busy today, had a lot on, but if I'm honest, I've just looked for reasons to not get the training done. I should have trained this morning and had a lie in. I should have trained at lunchtime, but I had a bit of work on, so I didn't. But I, I could have you know, skipped either of those things. So, the plan is for tonight to do half an hour of this sort of thing. I'm going to do 15 minutes of general all around, just a little bit of upper body workout, just something so I can feel it, but without hurting myself too much. And then I'm going to do 15 minutes working specifically on my knee and hip issues. Now, that might not sound like a huge amount of time. I have been doing a bit of the knee stuff while I've been sat on my desk. So I'm probably going to focus on the hip issues. So quick catch up. My knee niggle is flowing up when I'm cycling, my hip niggle is flowing up when I'm running. So I'd rather run my bike. That's pretty, it's getting to the point where it's nearly okay, but I need to be running. If I want to be doing triathlon next year, which I do at a decent level, I've got to get running. So I've got to get this hip thing sorted. So let's get stuck into some of this sort of stuff and I'll show you what I do for my hip, what I do, what I'm going to be doing. Just reminds me why I don't do this sort of thing. I feel like I've pulled both hamstrings already. I probably haven't, but you know, they just put the icing on the cake for me at the minute. Now, the main reason why I've struggled today is because I'm currently working on a video in which I'm talking about my weight loss journey, but because I feel like I'm nowhere near the end of it, it's actually quite demoralizing to see where I was two or three years ago. And knowing that back then I thought that I had still had so much work to do, like now I have so much more work to do. So please do stay tuned for that video coming out, I don't know, in the next week or so. It's a story I've wanted to tell for a while. So I'm hoping that it comes across well, but it's not easy looking at, I'm sure you might be able to relate, looking at where you've been and then looking at where you are. But there's a million and one reasons, I saw this quote the other day, I can't claim it's my own. There's a million and one reasons to give up, and there's one reason to keep going. Keep going, so, come on. Right, so that was a little workout done. I mean, I'm sweating, I feel like I've had a good little workout, but of course I'm in the hot house. Now, the hip thing in particular is like this area here that is pulling when I run. When I went to the physio, nothing that we did could make the pain flare up, no stretching, no pushing, no anything. So I have to just trust that it is making it better and I can't feel it at all when I'm just normal. It's only when I'm running. So one of the stretches is like this, and I'm leaning over to the right and just feeling that deep stretch and just moving around a little bit to get it a bit stretchier. The problem is, is that this muscle's got tighter and tighter and tighter, and then it's eventually just, you know, pulled or let go. So I've got to really work on its flexibility as well as its strength. And I'll, keep, I'll do both sides so I don't end up, I don't know, super strong on one side and not the other. Like if I'm sat down and I've caused one issue one side of me, it'll probably be brewing the other side. So I might as well do these things. The other thing I need to do is, I can't find where my spiky ball's gone, but roll up against the wall because it is essentially about massaging it as well as stretching and the spiky balls do a really good job of breaking down, I can't remember what the word was, but basically rolled around on a stretchy ball. <sighs> also have a whole like PDF, like with all the little stretches and movements on it. So I've got no excuse. I need to actually get doing these things. The physio actually said that my flexibility isn't too bad, so... No, 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 no. Right, that's enough of that. I need to get on the bike, and you'll notice that I'm wearing bib shorts now. That is purely so that I definitely do get on the bike afterwards. And we all know that chamois time is training time, isn't it? So I'm going to log this 20 minutes on training piece. Okay, so I know that I couldn't run to the end of the street right now, but it's amazing what a little bit of exercise does, isn't it? I feel now like I could run through a brick wall. All I've done is 20 minutes, half an hour of 
basic core exercises and I feel so much better. I wish I'd done that first thing this morning and I probably had a lot better day. But anyway, I'm gonna get on the bike now and do a spin on Zwift. I'm gonna try and do a bit longer than half an hour if all feels okay. And I'm required for the Zwift racing team tomorrow for my club, however, I won't be racing it. I'm just gonna be spinning around for a couple of points to finish. So I just need to know that I can ride for long enough to get around that race tomorrow. So that's the main aim for tonight. And then we're swimming later on, so let's get cracking. Bike ride done and dusted. I just did half an hour. I could feel my knee throughout it. Uh, maybe it's something I was doing with the movements earlier. I think I need to focus on the rehab for another couple of days before I get back on the bike, but we will see. Thanks to Mr. UK Bike Fit for messaging me saying, when am I gonna let him look at my knee? You so-and-so, he called me Liz. Did they? Yeah, it was Fashion. quite nasty actually. However, deserved it. given that he's, yeah, I did deserve it because I've not taken the right approach with this injury. I should have seen him earlier or seen somebody about it earlier. Anyway, Elizabeth, why are you gawping? I'm just keeping an eye on what he's up to and it's bad by the look of it. Can <laughs> no. see the tree shaking. Right, Liz, I need you because, I'll tell you why I need you. Well, you need me for a lot of reasons, but yeah, yeah what's right. the reason right now? Specifically right now is because I put a lot of videos out on this channel, don't I? Like most days a video goes out about triathlon training, about life and all sorts. Yeah. A video yesterday, which I did sort of peer pressure you into at the garden center. I had to cut quite a lot of it out because you were swearing quite a lot. And I being, was a bit mardy one. Yeah, you are being otherwise a bit obstructive towards the video. <laughs> it's actually doing really well. I mean, it's numbers wise in the first six hours of posting, it's the best one that's gone up for like two or three weeks. Examine it. Whoop. Well, it, it, it is. So Wait, what's going on? Why is my mum ringing me? Oh my God, why is my mum ringing you? Well, I'm not answering, I'm just doing YouTube yeah, at the minute. busy now, sorry. <laughs> we'll talk to her at Christmas, why is she ringing you now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Liz, I need you to have a video from now on. I need to call it something not related to triathlon at all, because that's what okay. people seem to enjoy. Anyway, I'm going to swim with James Saxby after tea, so... Cool. You come in. No thanks, can I answer this call yet? Yeah, go on then. Okay, see ya. That's it, what Liz's mum's got to say. Hello? Oh, she just put it down, Mister. It. It's a shame. <laughs> she watches these videos as well. I'll ring her back in a minute. Sorry, Liz, I didn't ask you how your day was. Busy. I feel like Monday's been a week, if I'm honest. But we're through it. Um, I had a nice evening. I went to the designer outlet and met one of my work colleagues for coffee after work today because... I don't work in the same year group as her anymore, so I don't really get to see her very often. At her request, she wanted to move away from us. <laughs> so, so we met up because um, she lives not too far from us as well, and we had a nice catch up. And uh, what did you have? Put the world to rights. Well, I had two things actually. I had I didn't actually have coffee. I had a pumpkin spice hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then I had a tea afterwards. Double drinks, lots of chatting. We do lots of talking. We were there like two hours, so I needed a lot of drinks. Okay, alright. See you soon. Yeah, see ya. Tea time. Mm. Uh, I really wish I could get footage at the pool, but it's just not going to happen. However, if there's only one thing I can do well at the minute, then I'm going to do it, and that is swimming. And I don't mean that I'm smashing any world records out of the park, but I'm giving it full effort when I'm there, focus on the session, trying as hard as I can on the hard intervals, focus on technique on the, on the easy intervals, and just getting the most value I can out of it. Real good group tonight. We had myself, Lee Twinnicliff came along as well, Swim coach Ash and James Saxby, so we had a real good little group. The pool's really quiet, so we could all do what we wanted to do. Saxby did the same session that I did, so I'm basically his coach now. We've done this the last few weeks, but it motivates me on. He's slightly faster than I, only slightly faster than I am in the pool, so that's motivating for me as well. And it's a good session. So I did a 400 warm up, and then it was four times 50 broken effort. So the first 12 and a half meters, the first half a length, short course meters. It was hard and then the rest of it easy off of 20 seconds recovery and then four times 50s flat out like max effort off of one minute recovery and they felt good the max effort ones were all about 41 42 seconds a couple in the 40s 200 meters paddles and pool boy and then the same again 
In the second block, my 50s were slightly slower. They're about one second slower to one and a half seconds slower. I was just fading. I'd just done hard intervals and swimming is hard, isn't it? So that's just one of those things. But I was happy to really not like blow up on a session. That's really good. I'm noticing this at the minute. As long as I pace the first few intervals well, I can have a strong swim for me. And I'm really happy with that. It's motivating. It makes me feel like I'm making progress. And I know that swimming three times a week now is going to enable me to make some progress, hopefully. That was 2.2K in total, which is a good swim, really enjoyed that. So yeah, good to finish the day off on a positive. Tomorrow, my intention is to not leave everything until late in the day, try and be a bit more intentional early on. And this kitten is currently running around the living room with a ball ball. Liz, is he allowed one of them? Well, I've got some extra ball balls out in case he steals them. Well, he is stealing them. So anyway, I'm going to end today's video there. Thanks very much for watching. I'm doing a few journey based videos over the next week or two. Well, hope, I'm, well <laughs> you can only be there. I need to get out. Well, I want to get them out for Christmas. No drinking, weight loss, cycling journey, all those sorts of things that hopefully might give you some motivation over Christmas heading into the new year is the plan. And also that sort of stuff could do quite well on YouTube. So, you know. Got to try and get different videos out every now and again. But I'm, I'm away with work a couple of days this week, so that'll break up my training, but what can you do? You having a good time there, pal? You having a good time? Yeah? Oh, it's a little nightmare. See you later.